really excited about today's video because it's a little bit different than usual. I thought of this idea the other day when I was looking back at my old blog that I started almost 10 years ago. So I don't know if you know that much about my story. I might have talked about it a little bit on my channel, but the my first like internet presence where I got started um, was actually a blog that I created back in 2011. I was 16 years old and um, this was kind of the height of the blog world and I just wanted a place to share like craft projects that I was doing. I was really into crafting and DIY. I mean, I still am, but especially back then, that's all I did in my free time. So I decided to start a blog um, and that's kind of how I got started making content online. So for this video, I thought it would be really fun if I went back through my old blog with you guys and read through some of the posts that I made back then. I know it's going to be a little bit cringy, but it'll be fun. Um, and then maybe try to recreate some of the DIY tutorials that I posted all the way back then. And just a quick note before we get started, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I do have a link in my description and the first 1000 of my subscribers to click that link will receive a two month free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. So I will tell you a little bit more about them later, but I want to let you know and let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, let's go to my blog. So the URL is www.stellarblog.com. All right, here we go. This is my blog. So the last post I made was in February of 2018. I wanna go all the way back in time. I wanna go to the very beginning. So if I go to my sidebar, yeah, I have an archive here. Started it in July of 2011, so let's go there. And just the way my blog is set up, we have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and go older to get to the like the oldest post. Okay, but as you can see, my some of my older posts are missing the photos. Unfortunately, my very first post, which was a tutorial on how to make mini teacups out of clay, does not have photos, which is really sad because I loved that um, project. Okay, so the first post that has photos is from July 22nd, 2011. And um, just for, I guess, reference about me back then, I was 16 years old and this was the summer before my junior year of high school when I started my blog. I actually moved this summer, so I moved to a new state, a new city, and I didn't have any friends, I didn't have anything to do, so that's basically why I started this blog, is because it was summertime and I was lonely and bored, and this is what I did. Day one of Origami Paper Crafts is a matchbox. This is cute. Day two was making these little origami paper flowers. Okay, day four. Today is all about mini. <laughs> mini bunting, mini envelopes, and a mini tea party. I loved making tiny things. You'll see a lot of my tutorials on my blog back then were for making little things, um, like making little things out of clay or paper. I just love making tiny things. Okay, this could be fun to recreate. On August 2nd, I posted a DIY paper bead bracelet, which would be really fun just using some recycled materials to make these paper beads. For the paper beads, I tore out some pages from an old magazine that had coordinating colors and then I used a ruler to mark a little less than half an inch on the paper and I drew a long thin triangle and I did this several times to cut out these shapes that will be rolled up into the beads. The size doesn't really matter, you can make this however big you want, just make sure it's a really long thin triangle. And then you'll need some glue and you'll need a toothpick or a paper clip to roll the bead around. So I just put some glue all across the paper and rolled it up and that's it. You can also seal these since they are made out of paper if you want to use a resin or Mod Podge or something to go on top of the paper bead to make it waterproof, you can do that. I just left mine as is and then you can make your jewelry. So I paired my paper beads with some glass beads and strung them on some elastic cord and made a cute little bracelet.
So here's my finished bracelet with the recycled paper beads and I think it turned out really pretty. I like this. Um, I try to stick with a kind of pink color palette, which I like. I use some of these glass seed beads to mix in with the paper beads and I think it turned out really cute. So thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I just want to tell you guys a little bit more about them in case you haven't heard about them. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of fun creative classes on every topic imaginable. So I love using Skillshare to learn new creative skills that help me in my work and my art. So things like video editing, learning new techniques to make my YouTube videos better, even very specific art skills like oil pastels. I mentioned this a few videos ago that I have slowly been getting into oil pastels and I've been loving the oil pastels of bootcamp by Jen Dixon, which is just like the best starting guide to learning how to use the oil pastels. Um, so I love Skillshare to learn new creative hobbies and skills like this. And they have so many other classes that you can explore as well. Things like illustration, even interior design, or small business tips if you're getting started selling your art. So I really encourage you to go check them out. Skillshare membership is less than $10 a month, which makes it super affordable to have all of these classes at your fingertips. And the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link down in the description will actually receive a two-month free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership, which is just a great opportunity to see everything they have to offer. So I hope that you have fun checking Skillshare out. I love them and I know that you will too. Okay, so I remember this. I posted this. I think before school started, but I made my own planner out of a sketchbook, which now that I'm looking back on this, I was kind of like bullet journaling back then um, without even knowing it, but basically I just decorated a sketchbook and used it as my planner, like drawing in calendars and writing my to-do lists and everything. At the end of this post, I talk about um, getting ready for the first day of school and I say I still need to figure out what I'm going to wear and what I'm going to bring for lunch. I am NOT eating cafeteria food. <laughs> Here's some cute recycled paper flowers that I made. Okay, so August 25th in 2011, I talk about my shop in progress. So back then, this is when I wanted to start an Etsy shop and I actually I never did back then. It's just crazy that I was thinking about it all the way back then and I ended up first opening my Etsy shop and selling things after I graduated college in 2017. Oh, here's a fun post that maybe we can recreate. It's a DIY bead bow. So it was close to Christmas and I made this little bow out of wire and beads to decorate gifts and I have all the supplies so maybe we can try this out. For this beaded bow, I pulled out some of my jewelry supplies. So I picked out some glass seed beads, some wire, and then some pliers and wire cutters. I cut a piece 8 inches, that's what I had written down in my tutorial, and I bent the end so that I could string on the beads and they wouldn't fall off. And then I just twisted this into a circle and then pressed that into a bow shape. After this, I took another piece of wire, about 3 inches, once again that's what I had written in my tutorial, and then I strung some beads on this, and this piece will wrap around the center of the bow. Just fasten it off in the back and it's good to go. So this bow did not turn out that well. I mean it's fine, I just don't think it's super cute. I think that my problem was I used really tiny beads. and. If I'm gonna use beads this small, I probably need to make the bow smaller, otherwise use larger beads. Um, I just think it didn't turn out as cute as the one that I made on my blog post. Um, but I like the idea, so maybe I'll keep playing around with this because it is a cute idea to decorate a package with a beaded bow. Mini gift bags. This was January 2012. This is a cute little project, really easy. Oh, here is my 2012 to-do list. So I wrote it as a to-do list, not resolutions. Um, so what did I say? Number one, be more organized. Number two, learn to play guitar. I did actually start taking guitar lessons that year. Number three, pass AP US History with at least a three, which I did. Number four, blog more often. 
And number five, create something every day or almost every day. Uh, if only life could be as easy and carefree as it was when you're a 16 year old in high school. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so February 2012, I posted about the safe and sound video that Taylor Swift did. So I, I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan and always have been. Um, but back in 2012, she came out with this song, Safe and Sound, that she did with the Civil Wars. And I loved the song. I loved the music video. And I found so much inspiration in her style in this video. And this is actually what inspired me to get my bangs cut for the first time. I know that Taylor Swift inspired like every girl across America to get bangs, but um, yeah, this was a huge source of inspiration for me back then. Oh look, here's where I got my bangs cut. So July, 2012. Um, yeah, I mean, they were really cute. I loved having bangs. Oh, here's another easy paper craft. So collage matchbook notebooks I did in March, 2012 and these are really fun and easy to make. For these matchbook notebooks, I took a piece of cardstock and cut that into some long rectangles, and then I trimmed that down to size. You can make these whatever size you want. Then I took some scrap paper to fill the notebooks and binded everything together with a staple, and that's the base of the notebook. And then you can decorate it however you'd like. I took some collage elements that I had cut out from my magazines and just glued that to the covers, and I think this turned out really pretty, and it's so easy. So here are my finished little notebooks. I think they turned out really cute. I love collaging. This is just super fun and these little notebooks are so quick and easy to make, so they're a really fun project if you just want to use some scrap paper that you have lying around. Here's a fun little clay DIY um, that I did. I made this mini bowl of ice cream um, out of clay and I go through all the steps. So if you're into clay things... Okay, look at this. I was like the OG Visco girl. Um, I have a beachy anklet DIY. Isn't this what like all the Visco girls wear nowadays? Like macrame and like shell necklaces and things like that. I don't know. Um, but I did this little anklet. I, f I feel like this is a Visco girl thing, is it? Oh, I have a post about prom from 2013. I look so young here. I'm such a baby. I just have some pictures of me and my friends. Hopefully they don't hate me for putting this out here on the internet. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that it was fun for you guys to look through my old blog with me and see all the old content that I used to create and just how I got started on the internet. It's crazy because this is really like a diary. Like when I look back through, I'm just so nostalgic because I see everything that I was doing and feeling back then. And I'm just so thankful that 16 year old me decided to start a blog and um, put myself out there like this because it definitely impacted the trajectory of my life and what I do now. And it all started with this little blog. And just a reminder, if you're interested in Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to click the link down in my description will receive a two-month free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership, so go check that out. But I hope that you have fun um, looking back through my old blog. It's a little bit embarrassing and cringy, but there's some fun projects if you want to try recreating any of them. I hope that you guys are doing well, and I will see you again soon with a new video.